Hey, hey there, elites. How's it going? Hope you're doing healthy today. It's me, your boy, Waddles. Welcome back to the Minecraft God. I need your help. So, uh, we need fandom names, ASAP stats. So, if you have an idea, drop them in the comments. I, I have elites. Elites is great. It's my favorite one. We have gamers, too. Gamers works. And, of course, we have waddlers. I, I don't use that one as much, but we have waddlers. Th those are three great fandom, you know, elite names. But we need more. More is definitely needed uh paul I, I was talking with him before the episode you, you know paul he, he, you know how he gets i showed it in episode 51 uh, happens all the time but yeah so uh, I, I would appreciate it it would help me out quite a bit and it would make he, he's staring at me you see he, he knows he knows what's up but uh anyways uh welcome back to the series episode 57 so i think we have something big to talk about today hey hey ian 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 okay so ian 2 the squid farm uh we built this a couple episodes back i wanted to let it run for a while and now we check it i did check it uh, a little while ago and boom would you take a look at that two stacks and a half which is actually a little more than what it was the last time i checked it which is pretty good so that means that this farm does indeed work but does it work well uh well <laughs> kind of it, it kind of works well so like i said when i built this thing it would work better if we didn't have so much uh water around here basically this farm is relying on squid to actually decide to swim through here and actually stay inside of this i guess aquarium shaped thing for long enough for ian 2 to actually take the squid out ian 2 takes two hits to remove a squid after the squid is hit the first time usually it swims far away sometimes ian is still hitting them though and they'll end up um, going away like out here so i actually went ahead and extended this side of the farm quite a bit i think like four or five blocks it was really really hard to do but i did it uh, which has helped over here there's less ink sacs that end up outside of the farm which is good but over there kind of complex still i think if i were to come back in here and raise the walls along this river so the squid couldn't uh, beach themselves then that would probably help as well because i still am finding quite a bit of ink sacs just laying around the uh the shores here from squid who unfortunately tried to to evolve and it, and it just did not work so long story short the farm works and it would be worth it if you cut off more water uh around this thing if this were like the only source of water around here it would work really really well there's also one other big problem the noise the guardian laser beam noise is loud there's a bug and i could be like over here afking in the sword building and it sounds like i'm right next to ian and yeah it's it's hard it's bad but uh yeah that's the biggest complaint you'll see it eventually i'm sure as we're working on something but today is the day the highly requested day so as you see by the title it's elytra time that's right we're gonna go over to the end do a little bit of exploring the plan is to hopefully come out of this episode with at least one elytra hopefully hopefully uh only one though we only need one today so that means it's time to explore the end which means we need to talk materials because we have never done this in this series yet the first thing is a feather falling four pair of boots so i went ahead and put our water boots away michael phelps over in this the uh the armory over there uh we don't need them for today we need these ones right here this is going to help if we end up falling from a high high place which hopefully we won't uh the next thing that you're going to want to have when exploring the end is a lot of blocks but these blocks are sort of clogging up my inventory so we should probably fix that now to fix that you have two options you have shulker boxes but we don't have any shulker boxes yet so that's not going to work or uh you have an ender chest which is actually something that we have not crafted quite yet in this series so big moment another one is this right here boom ender chest number one so we can place an ender chest down and then put things inside of it then we can pick this ender chest up with a silk touch pickaxe place it down somewhere else and those items are still inside of it that is very very good so what we're gonna want to do is bring a bunch of extra blocks for exploring the end and just throw them inside of this ender chest you should definitely also bring extra wood and some extra food as well the end can be big and exploring it can take quite a bit of time 
Uh, a bed, that can actually be left at home. We're just gonna leave it in the under chest. Uh, you definitely will want a bow and a sword, and if possible, get looting three on that sword. We'll talk about that a little bit more once we're at an end city. Aside from that, maybe some basic tools, that would be a pretty good idea. A silk touch pickaxe, so you can break your ender chest and place it down whenever you need to. Maybe a pumpkin helmet, if you don't like endermen and you don't want to look at them, you don't want to have them get mad at you. And definitely a water bucket. Endermen cannot swim. They don't don't, they don't really like the water so uh if you have a water bucket and they're swarming you you can put the water down sand in the water and you'll be good for a little while we're gonna go ahead and actually repair these diamond boots up as well uh there's no one breaking on these boots and we might take a lot of damage today now you could totally bring your pets with you pam you're not coming with me though not a chance in the world and uh you could totally if you wanted to if you felt it was necessary you could definitely bring some potions and maybe some golden apples as well, but I think we're good. I, I'm not worried about it. We're not going to bring those things. So, over to the stronghold for us, which is right over here. We actually are connected right up to the stronghold already, which makes this process amazing. Beautiful. No need to walk very far or for very long at all because we're already here. So, the plan here is to actually, you know, now that I think about it, uh, oh, no, there's a bed here. We're going to set our spawn right outside of this end portal. If anything bad happens, we'll be sent right back over here. But, uh, fortunately, or unfortunately, if anything bad happens, we're probably going to end up falling into the void, just being honest, which means the stuff is gone and there's really no need to go back into the end. So, uh, <laughs> set your spawn outside of the portal uh, or not. It doesn't matter, but you can't use a bed in the end. It, it will explode. So, uh, just think about it before you enter it. We need to set the tone. We, we will set the tone mm, just like that. That's perfect. It's time to go. So we have uh, kind of a bad spawn out here. We're out in the void. So we're going to go ahead and quickly run over to the island. And now we need to look for the portal that spawned when we got rid of the dragon. So this thing should be floating above the island somewhere. We're not going to look at the Enderman today. Ah, it's right over there. That thing. We need to make a staircase up to that thing and enter that. To explore the end, we could either make a fly machine make a really really long uh like path of blocks like a thousand blocks out or we could just throw an ender pearl through that thing so uh we we also forgot an ender pearl <laughs> i thought i was forgetting something but uh thankfully endermen sort of live here so uh so getting an ender pearl or, or two or even filling our uh, inventory with ender pearls uh, it shouldn't be very difficult but we'll start by digging up this end stone i want to definitely save the blocks that i brought with me for the exploration part i don't know how long we're going to have to explore the rule of today's trip because we don't have a bunch of supplies necessarily or I, I guess more so we don't have a pair of wings if we had an elytra we could soar around the end and explore endlessly super easily but we don't have that so the rule for today is find an end city get an elytra and then get out of here we don't need to waste a bunch of time just randomly exploring it's fun but maybe not today Oh, you know, you, you are a very important Enderman. If you could just walk right on over here. I'm out in the open, I promise. Oh, I fooled you. I fooled you again. Enderman, how could you fall for it? We need you to drop an Ender Pearl. But oh, wait, I actually just realized we don't need an Ender Pearl. <laughs> I had a different plan all along. I had a different plan. Yep, we didn't even need an Ender Pearl. Sorry, Enderman. I didn't mean to do it. But bridge time. We need a staircase all the way over to that thing. And it's just conveniently over the void, which is, it's great. That's nice. So, big tip here, Minecraft 1.15 added this beautiful, beautiful setting known as Toggle Crouch. In the settings, you can actually set your crouch to just toggle on and off. I'm not going to do that because that would be dangerous. I'm used to just holding shift down to crouch, but you can set it to toggle mode. So you can just press crouch and then you don't have to worry about it. Uh, it would be a good idea when working uh, around the void because the void is... Uh, if I haven't said yet, the void is very, very dangerous. You need to be careful here. It's not a joke. Today's episode is going to involve a lot of quietness <laughs> and concentration. Uh, I played for a long time, but I am just as afraid of the void as I was when I first saw the void and first fell into the void. And yeah, the void just is not good. It's not very good at all. It's worse than Guardians, in fact, which actually says a lot because... The Guardians are just really bad, uh, at least in this world. They are very, very bad. But what we're going to do is build a decent platform around this thing. I'm thinking we'll go five blocks out in every direction with Endstone. If we use Endstone, Enderman actually can't pick it up. If we were to use, like, dirt, Enderman can come up here and just take the platform apart, which would be bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking five blocks. That should be good. That should give us a pretty a pretty good platform. I, I think this will... 
yeah, this should be good. You can actually also cut off Enderman spawns with light. If you light up an area, like this platform over here that we're building, uh, uh, Enderman actually won't spawn on it, which is something that I really, really do actually like the sounds of. So we're going to go ahead and leave some torches here as well. I didn't bring a bunch of coal today for exploring the end. I'm not planning on using a bunch of torches in today's adventure. But if you're into the idea of just stopping Enderman spawns entirely, just know that lighting torches will definitely work. All right, so now to access the outer end, we need to go through this portal space right here. Walking up next to it will not do, and of course, this stuff is bedrock. We can't break this. So there are a few options when it comes to actually getting inside of this space right there. Option number one, ender pearl. That's pretty easy. Go out uh, onto your main end island, collect up a few ender pearls, throw a pearl through the thing, and boom, you'll be teleported out to the to the outer end. But the other option, and the option that I actually sort of prefer, involves trap doors, actually. So if we make a crafting table, then we can go ahead and make some trap doors just like that. And then we can place a block right here, which will be good. Then we can do another block right there, actually, and a trap door there. Then we can go ahead and remove that block. Now, if we stand on top of this block and hit the trap door, we're actually put into crawling mode just like that. And we can actually crawl right into this space right here. But one more thing uh, to say before you crawl into this thing, as soon as you enter it and the, the world starts loading in, it's a good idea to pause the game. In the past, there have been bugs with the world basically not loading in and you enter this gateway right here and then you fall and uh, you fall, of course, into the void, which is really dangerous. So as soon as we go through this thing and it actually loads, we're going to pause the game just to be safe. I don't know if the bug's gone. I'd rather, you know, keep all of my stuff. We could put it in our ender chest, but, you know, we're brave. So we pause the game just like that and uh we pause it again and there there we go <laughs> see that was really concerning i'm like uh were we uh, over the void or what but we are here hello enderman we have accessed your house this is this is the outer end now so the outer end is pretty far from that central island i didn't check the coordinates back on that island but now we're at 590 836 now you can actually map the end if you want uh but we're not going to map it today what we're going to do instead is write these coordinates down this right here is our ticket back home we cannot lose this thing uh or if we lose it uh we could be stranded here which could be a big big problem okay but we're out here in the end now surviving so this place is kind of weird it's very very empty endermen will continuously spawn out here so don't try and remove them all because they'll just keep spawning the only way to stop the endermen from spawning is to eliminate the spawnable blocks or uh just put light sources down so if we slabbed over this whole space then endermen wouldn't spawn if we put a bunch of water here they wouldn't spawn or again of course lighting we just raise the light level we'll be good in the end, you'll find these things generating. These are chorus plants. Those up there are basically the seeds. We can actually use a bow to shoot those things off and pick those up. The rest of these are chorus fruit. Where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, it's up there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna need both of those. Those are good. And then we can just break this. It'll break just like that, kind of like kelp. And we can pick everything up. So the, the chorus flowers are the seeds. Basically, we plant these things to grow more. And then these are chorus fruit if we eat the chorus fruit we will randomly be teleported we are not going to snack on the chorus fruit right now but uh we, we can show that up later so chorus flowers those are going to go in there we'll keep the chorus fruit with us those are a little bit more important to grow these things you'll need endstone so i guess for now we'll just throw the endstone there so i have a little bit uh to take back home with me but i do think i i think i actually have more there now it's time to find an end city. Unfortunately, end cities are pretty much the only interesting uh, thing to find in this dimension, but when you find them, they definitely are good. End cities have some pretty high tier end game loot, including the Elytra. Finding an end city and raiding it is the only way to get an Elytra in Minecraft, so they're, they're pretty good, they're pretty worth it. Now, uh, to do this, basically, we need to explore and keep an eye on basically the distant islands and just things in general. End cities stick out, like, a lot. This terrain is pretty repetitive. The end cities are very, very different. If you're trying to find an end city and struggling, it definitely could help to turn your render distance up. We're at 22 right now. We don't have app to find still. 
22 is going to have to be good. That's pretty far. Now, I think off in the distance over this way, uh, you, you can kind of see more uh, terrain generating over there. So I think that's going to be the way that we want to go. But a uh, big problem. Take a look at that. That's dangerous. We need to bridge this gap somehow. Currently, we have two options. Option number one, Ender Pearls. We can collect some Ender Pearls from the Endermen that are over there there that I don't want to look at uh, or we could just make a bridge we're just gonna go ahead and make a bridge over there so get your blocks and uh, get ready to build uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and go I think just pretty much straight across here so let's go from this point over here it's a few blocks further which is good that'll save us some blocks now uh, this bridge is not going to be the safest of bridges uh we're just gonna get it done today so we're gonna do a one wide uh just crouch place bridge right here if we don't look up we'll be good if we don't uh stop crouching we will also be good this is very very dangerous especially for me right now because i don't know what it is but my mouse has been having issues lately which is weird because the mouse is kind of new but it randomly disconnects from my computer so uh, you bet I am holding down crouch like about as hard as I possibly can because the idea of uh, falling is terrifying. In fact, you know what? Just to be safe here, we don't really need the subscribe shovel. We'll go ahead and put that away. And the axe can actually just stay in there for now as well. So we only have the sword, the pickaxe, and Walter, of course. That's a, a little bit better. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll just bring this with us. Now, remember, Silk Touch, the Ender Chest. If you use a Fortune 3 pickaxe, it'll break. And hey, would you take a look at that over there? Uh, <laughs> that thing, that beautiful, beautiful thing that sticks out a lot like i said elites is an end city right off the bat not bad i seem to have pretty good luck with finding end cities but uh sort of bad news here um not to be too picky but it doesn't look like we have a boat there we're looking for an end ship an end ship is a particular i guess part of, uh, of an end city structure the ship is the part with the elytra if there's no elytra today we're actually we're actually going to just skip the end city. We're only going here for an elytra right now. The shulker boxes are nice and, and they're good and I definitely do want them, but the elytra is something that I want a little bit more. So if there's no end ship, that's not the city for us and it definitely looks like there isn't an end ship. So we're going to go ahead and come back. This should be pretty easy to remember. I plan on coming back here and exploring a lot later on, so ah uh, yeah we'll, we will remember you city you look cool you're kind of small but we're gonna go ahead and carry on by going this way i think now honestly i would usually say that it's just a good idea to bring a pumpkin helmet with you to the end use a texture pack to remove the weird pumpkin texture and boom you're good you don't have to worry about the enderman but i'm trying to i'm trying to evolve and and realize that the enderman they're not they're not a big deal they don't they don't scare me when i have my good diamond armor on so i decided to skip it today but it's really not a bad idea at all it is kind of cheaty though using a texture pack to remove uh the pumpkin blur thing so i don't know do it if you want it's a good idea makes you feel a whole lot more safe in here but uh today that's not our move but uh we're sort of at a dead end so i was hoping that these islands would connect unfortunately they don't so i think it's actually going to be bridge time again we're going to go all the way over to there to that bridge or to that island now and hopefully that'll take us somewhere hopefully lots of guesswork going on here uh unless uh, I thought I saw something over there. <laughs> all right, time for another bridge. We have lots of blocks, though. Hopefully, they'll get us all the way over there. Um, we'll go from, like, over here and try and go straight out that way, and then we'll make a turn. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Ooh, that bridge was expensive. We are out of stone uh, onto the cobblestone. But what do we have over here? Please, end city with the end ship, please. Uh... At least it looks like there's more islands over here. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Uh, yeah, lots more options as to where to go over here. And oh, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> that's a big, big city right there on the, on the horizon. Wow, that is, that's a huge one. I don't know if I've ever seen one so big. That's really complex, but uh, unfortunately, um, it doesn't look like I, I don't think I see any chips over there. 
Um, yeah, no ships, but I see a sapper one right over there. That's a small one as well, which is really cool. But let's go ahead and keep our distance on this place. There's a few shulkers outside of the entrance. Doesn't look like we have a floating ship anywhere, though. So, unfortunately, this is not the one for us today. But you already know, I'm going to go ahead and write these coordinates now. We need to remember this place. That is going to have a lot of loot. I already know. That's going to be crazy. And then this disconnected small one over here, too. That's pretty cool. I have the coordinates to the gigantic one behind us. So, I don't really need the coordinates to that one. That's a pretty small one. So, we could take it on. But... Uh, we're gonna stay focused we're we are definitely only looking for the ship today so i think that means we're gonna go ahead and go uh, I, i'm kind of feeling this way Let, let's go ahead and go this way and see what's over here uh this place is huge like these islands so lots to explore which is a really really good thing uh hey 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 i found another one and we're pretty close to that one still look at that there's another end city over here this is end city central which is crazy oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> uh so a small one right behind me right there i definitely haven't turned around there is that yeah the gigantic city over there and then boom finally i think we have one. Oh, we do have one with a boat that's the city for us elites oh wow now we just need to get over there it's on a separate island but you know i don't even care i don't even care that boat over there with the, what i'm looking at with the crosshairs that's what we've been looking for all along that is our big ticket to the sky basically so we're in luck we are in big luck and this is crazy close to all of the other cities too again that small one over there the big one it's in the distance over there there's another small one over that way this seed is the best seed that i have ever played on ever this is literally the best seed ever and you know i'm decently impressed with the size of the city we have one of those cool big rooms that'll be fun to take on uh, a couple dead end rooms i don't think there'll be any loot in that there might be loot in there i'm not too sure but the ship is the big important part now the first thing that you should do before entering this city is make sure your armor is good and on and make sure your weapons are on the hot bar so end cities are inhabited by enemies known as shulkers shulkers really aren't all that bad but they do have an interesting attack shulkers will shoot basically missiles at you to make things even better the missiles but they're not really missiles the things that they shoot at you are heat seeking which means they'll they'll lock onto you and follow you which can get dangerous if you get hit with one you'll be granted with the levitation effect which means you're going to start floating up so if you can stay closer to the structure you'll probably be a little bit safer we can actually see a shulker in there right now now when it comes to shulkers ideally you want to remove them with a looting three sword this thing right here see shulkers drop shulker shells but unfortunately not always looting increases the chance of a shulker shell drop if we can pick up the shells then we can actually make shulker boxes which are basically backpacks which is really really nice i see you up there buddy i see you uh we're not gonna worry about you well actually 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 yes we are so when a shulker is closed like that arrows will actually bounce right off of it we have to wait for the shulker to actually open up so are you gonna open up or yeah you, there you go there you go you open up just like that but what we want to do is again try and use looting but the missiles are coming at us so you know what we'll deal with you later buddy we'll deal with you later it's time to go ahead and get inside of this thing the entrance is right here it looks to be sort of buried a little bit usually there are two shulkers right outside of the entrance right here but I guess it generated weird so we should be clear to just go ahead and move in maybe that random shulker on the bottom of a bridge is like glitched up there or something or it teleported up there in generation what do we have here where are you where I thought you were okay you are in this room hey hey shulker how's it going you're not very scary uh when you open up i'll hit you again that's that's what i thought that's exactly what i thought now you can hit them when their shell is closed and oi it teleported yeah shulkers can teleport too it can make it a little bit more tricky but uh hey uh you you are the one who tell who teleported here which one of you was i think it was you you were definitely hey okay okay maybe it wasn't uh, that one <laughs> they can teleport around which can make things a little a little bit annoying but that right there that's that's for us so to get around levitation you can of course bring a milk bucket to get rid of the effect or you can dump water just like i did there and you'll actually float down it's not the best but it, it, it works 
Now, I think what we want to do is actually go up into that room or that space up there. We can see a shulker right at the top of this thing, though, so we're going to need to be careful. End cities are basically parkour fortresses. I, uh, I don't really like parkour, so I like to bring lots of blocks and basically fill things in every once in a while so I cannot fall and take a bunch of damage. So if we do blocks every once in a while like that, we won't fall down the center. We should probably do some blocks in the corners too every once in a while to basically create a platform for us. Uh, shulker over there, we've got to watch out for that. And then Shulker up there as well. That levitation thing, uh, is, these are my hitters. So let's go ahead and do that uh, so we don't go too high up. And then that right there too. I think what I want to do is try and get up there and get rid of that Shulker first. So we can actually, if we're careful, uh, we can stand here and hit that once. That'll help a lot. That'll take quite a bit of health away. Then we can go ahead and try and climb all the way. Oh, or we can fly up there. We can just float up there. Floating works too. You can actually use this levitation effect to your advantage. Hi, Shulker. How you doing? Okay. Okay, they're all going to teleport for me today. I, I see you out there. Very funny. Very, very funny. Okay, so we'll just do this. We take this out. Uh, you, goodbye. Uh, the shell fell all the way down to the ground, of course. Um... We should definitely go back for that. We're going to wait for the levitation to go away, and then we're just going to jump for it. Uh, I need that. I need that. This is very important. Um, is there anybody out here? Uh, you? Yeah, you. You're right here. Um, you're going to have to go away. Goodbye. Another shell. This is amazing. This, this is amazing. We got to get inside, though. We got to get inside. It's dangerous out there. It would be a big brain move to place your, your ender chest down every once in a while, put the shells inside of it. I mean, you never know what could happen. Just just back things up, you know, be extra safe. Good idea. You know, just realizing here too, probably should have brought some scaffolding with us to this raid. Scaffolding would have been great here. That would have been really, really useful. But here we go, levitating again. Let's go ahead and go up here and see uh, if there's anywhere to go from here. Do we have anything? I see the ship way up that way, I think. Um, is the ship over there? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna not do that. Um, where is the ship? It, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find it. There's these cool banners, though. We could take those, but we're gonna actually go ahead and make a jump from here and go right over into there so we can continue exploring this thing. Hello, Shulker. How you doing? We'll land a crit here. Maybe, maybe a, a few criticals. Thank you. Uh, another shell. Wow, we are doing good on the shells today, but shulkers are in here too we got to be careful um okay i guess there was just one we don't have to be too careful so it has grown quiet very quiet but it won't be quiet for long because this room this place up there is absolutely loaded with shulkers we can actually see some right there uh that room is there's a lot in there to take this room on first i definitely recommend creating a platform in this area in here basically what we can do is use this hallway that this vertical hallway i guess to hide from the shulkers like a true warrior and uh basically use our bow use walter to just get rid of them we don't need to worry about the looting three thing always it's okay sometimes it's fine it'll be a whole lot easier than entering that room and getting shot at from like every single angle uh yeah i kind of like the sounds of just staying here a little more i mean look at that we have three right there we have one two right there yeah they're just all over the place but we need to wait until they open otherwise the arrows are going to come back at us and walter is a strong strong bow so uh, we're going to need to watch out. If these, if these arrows start coming back down at us, we could have a problem here, and we need to not get hit with levitation. Levitation could be very, very dangerous for us elites. If we're flying in that room and getting shot from all sides, that's not really going to be fun. Okay, the levitation right there. Yeah, we're going to need to... We're, we're just going to do that right there. Now we can't float up there, and I guess we'll wait. How long do we have? We have... Okay, there we go. We're good. We'll try that again. You guys thought you were funny. That is not going to stop me, though noise gotcha as the room starts to clear out it's not a bad idea to start moving up a little closer we've taken out quite a few shulkers there are still some left in here for sure but the room is going to be a lot less dangerous now now that we've gotten i i would say at least like five shulkers out of here there's probably a few shells waiting for me on the ground in there we have five minutes to pick up the shells before they despawn though so not really worried about it uh any minute here any minute here come on walter walter is cleaning them up today this is nice that guy i haven't hit once though so i think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're just gonna push into the room now 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and go for this. We'll go ahead and fill this in with blocks so we don't fall too far. And how many shells are waiting for us down there? Ooh, it uh, looks like we have at least two. Two? Uh, oh, no, there's another one over there. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Any more? Um, really? Three shells from that? Uh, <laughs> well, okay, so, uh, I, I guess that's that. At least this is another parkour room. The parkour is with end rods this time, so, yep, if you like parkour, this is a place for you. I don't really do parkour, though, so we're just gonna do this. This is a little easier. Uh, you guys, you can just go away. We're just gonna use the bow. Get out of here. Get, 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 go away. Go away. Uh, you too. Oh, boy, I fell. Now, if you do happen to get hit with levitation in this room, just stay near the edge. If you stay near the edge, you can actually work your way over onto things, or you can just place blocks below you, just like that, and then you're good. Then we can basically make a platform right here, and uh, the shulkers levitation effect, that's not so scary anymore, because if it hits me and I fall back down, well, I land on this platform right here. Whoa, look at that, though, shulker. Not very big brain of you. Not very big brain. So, though, this is the place that we were looking for. This is exactly it, but let's go ahead and move up here a little bit more and see what we have. I, I think there's going to be a few shells waiting for us up there that I definitely don't want to lose. Boy, who is making the noise? Okay, there's going to be one up here as well. I think there... Is there going to be loot in that part? I, I can never remember. Uh, I haven't found a shell waiting for me, though. We'll be able to look down. Oh, there is loot up here. Oh, this is good. This is good. I think the shulker is on the roof, too, from the sounds of things right above us. But let's see this loot. The loot in these cities is usually pretty good. Hopefully, we get something good here. Maybe a mending thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see what you're doing, game. I see you. Um... Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, that's nice. What we can do is we can take that, though, and we can do this. Oh, wow. I'm, you know that I'm excited about some beetroot seeds. Oh, and the gold and the enchanted iron armor. What did I tell you guys about good armor? Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's not what I was talking about. We can go ahead and make a shulker box though right here with a chest, and then we can go ahead and actually put loot inside of here. So all of that good stuff, I would never want to lose that. Thorns, oh, you know I love thorns. Elites, we're gonna go ahead and just, we're, we're just gonna put it right in here. Keep it nice and safe. But who is making all of that noise on top of here? Is there somebody up here making all that noise? No, I guess not. It's not probably on the side of this uh, this place here. I guess it's not that big of a problem, but uh, we need to be careful here. We need to not fall all the way down. That could be really, really bad. But did we miss any shells? Um, it doesn't look like it. I think we got everything. So let's go ahead and go this way and check this. Or where is the shulker? I guess it's not over here, but that thing, that is definitely the target now. So, oh wait, there you are. There you are. There you are. I see you right there. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the shell falls. Okay. 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 Well, do we go back for the shell? Uh, you can shoot these things, by the way, to break them. Mm, the shell is all the way down there. Okay. Well, you see... Uh, here's the idea. Here's the big brain move. We're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and dump... A water source right there and we're gonna use this water to get down to get to that shell because I really would like to have that shell then we can use the water to get right back up the water is going to dump down onto this fortress and maybe ruin things I have no clue I, I guess not it's just gonna spill there but look at this that's how you do it exactly exactly how it's done we climb back over here this is coming back with me thank you very much now it's ship time but first we feast it is snack time first all right, so in all honesty, this ship is actually pretty easy, but there are two things that you should definitely know about. Shulker right there, shulker right there. My biggest tip is to just wait over here patiently, of course, make sure there are no shulkers right behind you, but wait over here and just take them out with a bow. It's, it's going to be a whole lot easier because if you start making a bridge over there, the, the shulkers will eventually start shooting at you once you're in range, which is very, very dangerous because... I mean, if you look up, there's nothing to stop you from flying up. And if you look down, we're not going to look all the way down. There's lots of Endermen down there, basically. That would be, if I fell from up here, that would be the end. Like, literally, 
they, that would just be that, even with a feather falling. So, yeah, we need to be very careful. If we brought some potions with us, potions of slow falling in particular would help here because we would fall slower and uh, that would be a little bit better. I'm not too worried about the shells that may come from these shulkers. If, if they drop shells and they fall all the way down, which that one, it didn't actually. Uh, but if they did, I wouldn't worry about it usually. Not that big of a deal. But now it's bridge time. So from right here, we can make a bridge. Let's go ahead and go one block up. And then, uh, really, we just need to be careful. Because there are Endermen below us now. If one gets aggravated with us and comes all the way up here, that could be really, really bad. So uh, I'm just going to be so careful here. <laughs> uh, this makes me so nervous. Now, unfortunately, if you thought that the shulkers on the outside of the ship were going to be it, you are wrong. There will be another one inside of the ship as well, but this shulker is inside of the ship, which is not a big deal at all. There's a ceiling on the inside of the ship, obviously, so uh, it'll be fine. If we get hit with levitation, we'll just wait it out in there, but we are close. I can tell by the light. Let's go ahead and make a bridge uh up to here that should be good and then we'll go ahead and break in like this hello ship hi uh we got some potions right here potions of instant health they're always instant health we'll take those those are good then uh first we're gonna go up here and grab the shell that's waiting for us this thing right here thank you then uh we're actually gonna go ahead and go back in here and get the good loot which sits right over there by that shulker so we'll just go ahead and charge it not that big of a deal we can we can get rid of these things with our sword but again ceiling not that big of a deal would you take a look at that beautiful beautiful thing right there uh hi shulker hi hey i i'm just a photographer i'm actually just a photographer okay so basically what we need to do here is get rid of this shulker open back up uh, okay, fine. We will not wait for you. We'll just get rid of you like that. Goodbye, Shulker. We get rid of that Shulker. Levitation things are gone. And this right here, this is the best prize of all from the End City. The Elytra. Take a look at this thing. We're going to go ahead and put it on right now. Ooh, that's fancy. With this Elytra, we can now glide. We can actually glide. Not very well in here. This is not the best spot to fly, but we can glide. This is big. This is big. We need to stay. We need to keep that Elytra safe. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the Ender Chest right away. Uh, the Bring Stand 2, the Instant Health Potions. I don't really need those. Let's see what we have here. Better loot, hopefully. At least a little bit better. That's nice. I like that um yeah this is just very subpar and then over here okay really what is up with the loot in this city i'm glad that i found some gigantic ones because this loot has not been impressive i'm not satisfied with this loot but hey it's okay we have an elytra which is great we'll take that too item frames are useful and uh we'll actually put everything inside of this box right here this will uh give us a little bit more storage space these i think we can go ahead and just throw them in here now we don't really need them and uh the elytra we'll keep that out right there just so i can look at it if i ever need to look at the elytra i mean i don't know uh but we're gonna go ahead and grab this chest and then go actually uh well there's two ways we could do this we could go out of here or we could go up to the top but there's one more big thing that we need to get and it's right on the front of this ship so this is where you need to be careful again thankfully there are no more shulkers if you've gotten rid of the ones that i have gotten rid of but uh we need the dragon's head the dragon's head is more of a decorational item but it's really really cool to have you can wear it as a helmet if you want to so i recommend going ahead and building some sort of platform out here because the head is right there you don't want the head to fall all the way down to the ground if it does you're gonna have to go down there and get it there is one head and one head only on every single end ship in your world so you can have more than one uh dragon head in your world but you're gonna have to find more than one uh end ship head you are coming with me perfect just like that now we can go ahead and just build up this way that's fine this can break this end ship and almost all of that fortress over there is officially cleared but i can see a few more shulkers right behind me so let's go ahead and get back over there and get rid of those shulkers then we can actually get on out of this dimension with all of our good loot but the head definitely should go in there as well just in case that head is definitely valuable all right, so our target is this entrance right there. That's where the fortress continues on. So we can just build over this way, build up, and then tower up, and we're good. Now, to take this thing on, I think the best move is going to be if if we could hit that shulker once, maybe. Uh, maybe just once to, to weaken it a little bit, I guess. 
I guess it's gonna be a little harder. Uh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Now we can go ahead and rush the shulker and wait inside of this building over here, but we don't even have to wait. <laughs> the shulker's gone, but there's another one right in here. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. But two more shulker shells, that's good. That's one more shulker box. So in total, five shulker boxes, six including this one today. That's really, really good. I do hear the one more shulker. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get rid of it. Then I'm gonna actually make my way back home because I think we have cleared this entire end city already. Uh, I think the shulker is waiting over here somewhere, right? It was on this side, I think. Um, yeah, it's over here for sure. Oh, you're above me. You are above me. You were above me the whole time. This is good. This is good because we're levitating up now. We're just going to do that. Get rid of you. No more levitation thingy. Thank you. Uh, so if this happens, just stay calm. <laughs> You'll fall eventually. Uh, try and stay over something like this. And is that one that I've seen? Um, yes, definitely. There's my bridge over there. Yeah, we have definitely seen that. But... I think that is that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. And on the way down, I'm going to go ahead and try and grab a banner or two from that area over there. Because those banners are really, really cool. But that is our very first the successful end city raid of the world. Very, very nice. And one final shulker box for the road. Thank you very much. But we're out of the fortress now. Time to put this thing away and time to get back home. Okay, so home sweet home. Well, well, kind of. This is the portal that we need. All that we need to do is hook this thing up to a staircase so we can get through it. But first, I'm actually going to go ahead and dig down into the ground a little bit and leave some water here. So next time we come into the end, we'll be using this thing because we won't have another one by then. And uh, there'll be some water here. I'll definitely have refilled this water bucket. So next time we come here, I'll stop, drop another water source right there, and then boom, infinite water in the end, which is definitely a good thing. I mean, if we can, why not? So time to put that down, use a little bit more cobblestone, and build a platform going right up to that spot right there. Thankfully, we're a lot closer to the ground this time, and we're directly over the island, so I'm not even going to worry about making a platform around that thing. If we go through it and then fall like, like 10 blocks, not that big of a deal. Not worried about it at all. We will definitely be using that same trapdoor trick, though. I love the trapdoor trick, and I don't know. I just feel a whole lot safer about it than throwing enderpearls. But we'll go through. We'll pause the game. We'll notice that we're right here on this platform, so we're good. And we are almost now. We're even closer to being back home and safe, which is great. Finally, we just need to go ahead and go through that spot over there. Do I have... Okay, I do have the ender chest. Yes, we do. Time to go ahead and jump back through the center island portal right over here. Now, uh, really quick, take a look at the coordinates. Uh, we are just about at 0, 0. This thing is located at 0, 0, actually. So if you get lost in the end, head back towards 0, 0. If you're, like, really far out in the outer end... There's going to be a big gap in between this island and where we just were. Like, there'll be a lot of void, but if you have tons of blocks, which you kind of do, you could theoretically dig these up and make a bridge all the way back over here. It'll take a long, long time. It would be easier to just write your coordinates down, drop yourself on the ground, jump into the void and get your way back. But yeah, it is an option. So let's go ahead and go right back home to where we slept last time to sleep. I saw that it was nighttime and then time to get even closer to home. <laughs> one step at a time all right so like i like to do after every good adventure we need to check out the loot we'll go ahead and do it in the armory because i would love to have my water boots back so the feather falling ones i'll go ahead and leave those there for now eventually we'll build an end set of armor maybe we'll just take those boots get some unbreaking and mending on them and those will be our end set but the water boots will come back with me. I did go ahead and put the prismary in there to symbolize that this set of armor, if it were on there, would be for the water. But let's take a look at the loot. So ender chest right there, shulker box right here. Here's the loot inside of the shulker box. Some really subpar armor other than this piece right here. We will go ahead and just throw that over there for now. Uh, this stuff though, this is pretty much, sorry to say, it's pretty much worthless to me. We'll go ahead and just put it, I think, like over here for now it's cool it's nice but we don't even have mending on here the unbreaking is cool if, well, if we were trying to build like an iron set of armor but we're kind of past that uh decent helmet i guess but yep not the best 
this is just some random blocks and stuff that's cool we'll definitely need to go ahead and get our chorus flowers planted soon and maybe even actually set up a farm for these things because if we do then we can use these blocks for building which are cool they're different but they're really cool and uh we can actually use these things these are end rods end rods are a really clean looking light source I really, really like these things. They're great for building things like chandeliers or just some sort of path marker. So we'll definitely set up some sort of farm at least so we can use these in our builds because they're really nice. In terms of other loot, we have a brewing sand. We have the elytra, these potions. Those are nice. The dragon head is awesome. And I got eight of these really cool looking banners that we'll use somewhere, probably in like a stronghold build. I would like to go back there and make it look a little bit nicer. But overall, we have lots and lots of nice loot. Let's go ahead and actually leave the brewing sand here i feel like that'll level up this build a little bit that looks good the subscribe shovel can come with me the smash like axe of course of course and elites that is going to be just about it for the end raid episode i finally did it he actually did it i i've seen the request for it for a long long time we are definitely going to go ahead and get some good enchantments on that in the light trip very very soon and we'll be talking a lot more about shelker boxes soon too if you enjoyed this episode a smash like drop a subscribe if you have and yet all of my links are down in the description below today i would like to send a big shout out to my patron mr pd wash thank you very much for all of the support i really really do appreciate it until next time elites stay healthy stay cool i will see you in the next episode goodbye